How will it be, to be born in the world of blinds? Part 1. Today, instead of going into theories let's navigate through a story, a very strange one at that, and find out what morals, we may discover. This story is from the planet of blinds. Not so long ago, there was a planet just like ours, orbiting somewhere near to us, but invisible to our scientific advancement. Just because our scientists discovered a high voltage energy field, without any visible material to comprehend and correspond it, they named it the invisible planet. True to our scientists naming convention, all the beings on that planet including the animals, reptiles, insects, all the humans and even, God was blind there. This planet was a carbon copy of our very own Earth, or maybe the other way round. Except for the blindness that flourished with pride. One day it so happens, that a team of astronauts from our dear Earth sets off, for a mission to explore our solar system. They were really happy being far away in the space, very far away from Monday morning blues. But as luck had it, there is a blast in the spaceship due to some technical snag, and because of the impact, everyone on board is thrown off in different directions. The captain who happened to be a sweet lady, named, Ushna, ends up on this strange invisible planet. At first she is relieved to be back home. But as time advances and as she explores further, she is shocked to comprehend the truth about her landing place. Out of options, she maintains her cool and tries to look for help. She observes that this planet, is technologically very much advanced when compared to ours. From Mushina's point of view, they had turned the curse of blindness to a boon. But logically speaking they don't even know what seeing is, so it's indeed not a curse for them. Their whole world was developed without the sense of vision and that proved to be their greatest strength. They had changed their planet into a marvelous ecosystem. Every being, including the insects were equipped with thermal sensors, which made it impossible for them to collide with each other, and any incidence of accident was unknown to them. Even their automobiles were collision-proof. As Ushna goes further into their territories, an alarm indicating the movement of an object without thermal sensors, just blows off. In no time she is surrounded and confronted by the so-called blind citizens. Calling them blind would be an understatement. Because of time constraints, rest of the story will be streamed next week, till then indulge your creative follicles, and predict the outcome of this story. Thank you for watching. 